Okay, here is your first assignment. You are going to follow along with the video where I drew the elephant and you're gonna draw your own. However, if you want to, you don't have to draw the same shapes I did. Perhaps you saw ones that you thought were better looking at that reference picture. So please feel free to, I'd love to see what you come up with. But here's the general process that you're going to follow. First, you'll need to print out that elephant reference picture. I will include a link to that in the description as well a link as a link to it in the assignment. Then you will draw the shapes on it and marker whatever shapes you choose. You can copy the ones I did or find your own. And then you'll copy the shapes to the new paper and do so in colored pencil, please, so that I can see what your process is and help give you advice for how to improve it. Then build on those shapes in the plain pencil like I did in the video. And when that's finished, erase what you need to and add details and you're good to go. Once you're finished with that, what I'll ask you to do is upload a scan or an image of your reference picture as well as a scan or an image of your final drawing. And then a minute here, I'm also going to show you how to do the self-evaluation, which is the third aspect of this assignment. Now, remember how I told you guys in the course introduction that my goal as a part of this course is for you to learn some self-education and self-evaluation techniques, because to simply put it, I want you guys to eventually put me out of business as a teacher, and I'm okay with that. I'm not always going to be around. You may not always have a teacher accessible to you, but I still want you to be able to learn and not feel impeded by that. So I'm going to teach you here how to self-evaluate, how to do a self-critique so that you can improve whether or not someone is available to help critique your work. To start, you'll need to make a copy of the self-evaluation Google Doc into your own drive, and here is how to do that. I will include that Google Doc in the assignment, that link right here, but we'll click on this link and it'll take us to this doc. And then once it's all loaded and ready to go, it's just about there. We're going to go over here up on the left hand corner to file and we're going to click make a copy and this is what this is going to do is make a copy into your own Google Drive. Now if we go back to our slideshow here it says that you need to rename it assignment one self evaluation. This is for organization purposes it'll help you out a lot. So let's change this to assignment one self evaluation and then pick whatever folder you want to put it in doesn't matter I'm gonna stick it in here that seems like a great place actually I'm gonna put it even further back I'll stick it there great place to put it and that's all you need to do then click OK and it's gonna start loading your brand new copy of the assignment and then you'll go into here right underneath our title and it says assignment X go ahead and relabel that so that it says assignment one and if you want to, you can even go so far as to relabel it as the elephant drawing. Okay, so here's the first part of the self-reflection. This is just sort of a general thing. First off is, what went well? Well, some, some of the things I thought that went well for me was I did a good job of finding simple shapes. I wasn't too complicated. You can find other things to include here, but I'm just going to leave it at that and delete those. I encourage you to think of more than one thing if you can, but for the sake of brevity, I will just keep it to one for this video. Then you want to write down some things that didn't go well. One of the problems I noticed that I had was making sure my shapes were the right size. And so that would actually mean the shapes were the wrong size. That was something that didn't quite go as well, and that's okay. As long as I know that, I can improve. So what will I do differently next time? Well, I'm going to measure the shapes before... Oops before I draw them. And that will help me improve next time. So go ahead and do that first part of the self-reflection. Just a nice general overview of, hey, what'd you get out of this? What'd you learn? How'd you improve? The next step is going to be comparing. And I'm going to show you in a minute how to do that. You're going to compare your drawing to your reference picture using these following scenarios. Um, and what you're going to do is basically play the game is which one is different, you know? If you play that game of which photo is different, what's missing in that photo, well, you're going to kind of do this, but except uh, instead of being more or less the same photo, it's going to be your reference photo and your drawing, and you're going to see what's different between the two. So let's dive into that. Here is how to do the comparison part of your self-evaluation. So like I said before, it's just like having the, those comparison pictures where you try to see what's different, what's missing, so on and so forth. So you're going to look at your picture first off in the upright position. So I'm looking at this and one of the first things I notice is his head. 
His head is fairly straight up and down, but in the way that I do it, it's kind of crooked. He's kind of tilting his head to the side there. So I'm going to go ahead and add that to my list right here. And I would encourage you to find as many things in each stage as you can. I'm just going to write one for the sake of brevity. Um, head is tilted. Perfect. The next one I'm going to look for is upside down. So give me a second. I'm going to flip these. And part of the reason we're flipping it upside down is the same reason why we did that blind contour. We're trying to sort of snap our brain out of seeing an elephant and rather just trying to see a combination of lines and shapes. And so by critiquing it upside down, that is one way we can do that. So looking at this, what do I see that's different? Hmm. Oh, I can tell that the span of this oval right here is a little bit smaller than the span of this oval on my actual drawing. In fact, I mean here they look a little bit the same, but I can tell though that the curve on this one is pointing more out this way, whereas this one curves in a little more that way. So I'm going to go ahead and add that to my list of the upside down bits. Trunk curves too far out. Not art. Out. Wonderful. All right, and our next step is to do it from a distance. And that's really hard for me to show you this on a screen cap. So let me draw you a little doodle. What you're going to do is grab your drawings and stick them on a desk and try and get some sort of a, you can, or you can pin it to a wall, get some sort of little easel you can put these up on, but put your drawing on there and then look at it from a distance. Um, you can use that easel or if you need to, you can put it on a wall and just pin it on there. But you're going to look at these from a distance and evaluate, again, what's different between the two. And then when you're done with that, you're going to grab them and look at them in a mirror. So you'll get your reference picture and your drawing into the, a nice little mirror and you are going to look at them in the mirror image to see, again, what is different. And what you're doing by looking at all of these different options here is helping you to see them from different perspectives and in order to compare them and see what you need to fix. Now, when you're done with that, you're going to create a plan for improving next time. So um, you, know, you can have a few more things from a distance in the mirror, and then we're going to go to our plan for improvement. And this is very simple. You're going to just decide what specific actions that you're going to take to avoid making the same mistakes again. And well, conveniently, hey, you've got a list of mistakes up here. So I'm just going to start off with the first one as an example. I made the head a little too tilted, so I'm going to type in head is tilted too far. And my action plan going forward is one, I can do a couple of things. One of the things is I can do is I can, I will redraw this without the head tilt. But sometimes you don't want to have to redraw the whole drawing and you just want to kind of take this lesson in stride for the next time you draw something new. And so I'm going to say next time I draw something. Man, I'm having a hard time typing. Here we go. Next time I, ooh, wow, yeah. Next time I draw something, I will measure the tilt of the shapes in my reference picture before drawing them. That could be a really solid specific actionable item for you to do to improve and you'll go ahead and fill that out for all of these. Now if you end up filling out all of these, let's just kind of do this, and you still have some more mistakes that you want to make specific action plans for, here is how to add more lines to this graph. You'll simply right click, hit insert row below, and bam, you got a new one for your new mistakes. <laughs> and the last thing I want you to fill out after you fill out this action plan is what general actions or further study will you take to improve your drawing skills? So maybe you'll say, I'm gonna watch a YouTube video on how to get my angles 
right when I'm drawing. Another general action you could take would be I'm going to redraw this elephant five times because more packs you get the better you get. Or you can say I'm going to spend two hours drawing this week in general. So those are all good things. What you'll do when you're finished with this is share the link or download a PDF of it and um, upload that PDF to me in addition to your reference picture and your drawing. And that is how you guys complete the first assignment and the self-evaluation.